finally the most confusing place to find in my video career donkey straight ahead my name is karen kunkel and we are at the tioga marine terminal with donkeys around town the idea cooked up by ex-pennsylvania governor ed randall is to have painted donkey sculptures for each state and territory to be placed around philadelphia to celebrate the democratic national convention this summer in our city the governor got karen to orchestrate all of it and one of the artists she recruited is my great friend and art school roommate edgar jarens i'm going to make a longer movie about this whole project but wanted to do a quick one concentrating on edgar his art in general, and his donkeys in particular, are incredible. My name's Edgar Jarens, and I'm one of the participating artists. I attended the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in Philadelphia, straight from high school. I grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. Now I reside with my family, a wife and two daughters, in New York City. I'm an artist who is known for large narrative drawings of, I would say, thematically dark subject matter. I have a studio at the Elizabeth Foundation in Midtown. I also teach, I'm an adjunct at New York Academy of Art. Karen encouraged me to put my work up on Art John. And through Art John, I learned about the contest for artists to try to paint sculptured donkeys for the Democratic Convention. And so I entered and got in, and I got the states Nebraska and Kansas. And I grew up in Nebraska, and I was in Kansas all the time. I still am in Kansas a lot. Each state gave the artist six possible images to incorporate however they wanted to on the donkeys. I used all six images for Kansas and then Nebraska, I eliminated one that wouldn't work with the donkey. On a template, we blocked out how we were gonna do our donkeys, submitted that to the states. The states could make suggestions, but we had total freedom. We could take their suggestions or not. Edgar told me that he won the jackpot by getting to paint the Kansas donkey. Who can beat the Wizard of Oz for great subject matter? So before I came down, I did this test run. I, I haven't worked in it with acrylics for 20 years. And so I did a Dorothy in New York and I brought it down with me. Is this something you figured out or you read? No, I just figured it out by painting it. Edgar just discovered a new bit of Wizard of Oz movie lore. <laughs> Judy Garland's hair was designed to look like a tornado, and he's absolutely right. Twin tornadoes. Twin tornadoes. One to get you to us, and one to bring you back. That's right. Toto's completely unfinished. <laughs> I get it. Uh, I think I'm going to come Wednesday too, Mark. As long as I've known him, Edgar has been very resourceful. When he arrived, he saw how spartan this giant warehouse was. So he found a Walmart, bought a $10 chair, a drop cloth, and a cheap cooler with ice and Coke. No way was he gonna rough it for six days when a $25 investment would make life much easier. Over here is the paint that was supplied by Mural Arts and the rags and brushes and cups. And the paint is a good quality mural paint, the company Golden. Most everyone seems to be using the mural paint for their donkeys. I'm mixing in some acrylic myself. They were given five days. They extended it a little bit, but I wanted to come down here, visit with friends, and then be in the room with everyone because I knew there'd be a certain energy with all these artists and all the donkeys being created at the same time. And there certainly was. Everyone here actually is working really hard. No one's sort of hanging out. Everybody's on their donkeys. With mine, I'm working with illusionistic space and a fair amount of detail. So 
I'm still nervous about getting everything I want into each donkey. And then I made the decision to make the donkeys look real. The rest of the donkey, the parts that aren't the images, I decided to make the donkeys look real. So I'm in the process of that also. The texture worked out for me because I, I thought it was going to be smooth and I was going to have to create the feeling of uh, fur. What I did was I mixed a purplish brown, put it on the donkey, and then took rags and wiped it off so it would create even deeper shadows. And then I'm going to take a, a, a dry brush and put a warm brown. It already looks like fur. And then make the donkeys very warm and realistic. And I think that kids will get a kick out of that too when they come across a donkey that's half real, half fantastical. These donkeys are going to be seen by people from all over the country when the delegates come to the convention in Philadelphia. Have you ever had work on public display like that outside? No, I have never done public art. That's new, that's exciting. Working on a three-dimensional shape is new. And I'll always remember when New York City had a similar event and they had cows all over the city. My oldest daughter was four years old at the time, and every time we came across a cow, it was very exciting, and we would take photographs. And I'm sure that these donkeys are going to have the same level of excitement. And the fact that each one represents a state gives it even more meaning. So the delegates from that state, of course, people that have an affinity to that state, it'll be even more special. Edgar has been a remarkable friend since I first met him in 1976. A great artist, he is also down to earth and can relate to anybody. Despite the enormous personal tragedies and family deaths that have befallen him over the years, he is perhaps the most alive person I have ever known. If Dorothy holding Toto was the iconic image for Kansas, Chief Standing Bear plays that role for Nebraska. Arrested for leaving the Indian Territory to bury his son, who had died of starvation. Standing Bear was put on trial. Raising his right hand, he testified, that hand is not the color of yours, but if I prick it, the blood will flow and I shall feel pain. The blood is of the same color as yours. God made me and I am a man. Standing Bear is a kindred spirit to Edgar in his quest for life and fellowship over tragedy and disunion. I hope the Democratic delegates keep his words in their hearts as they look at Edgar's beautiful painting.